Today we are making a quick and easy vegetarian chili. For this recipe, our ingredients include one can of diced tomatoes, pinto beans, kidney beans, black beans, canned corn, and a can of diced green chilies. Not pictured is onion and minced garlic. First things first, we're going to open our canned beans using a can opener. We will then strain the beans in a colander and rinse and drain them. Did you know running beans or any canned vegetable underwater before cooking can help reduce the sodium content in your food? Make sure to rinse them well. Read the nutrition facts label and the ingredients listed on the packaged and canned food item. Look for foods labeled low sodium, reduced sodium, or no salt added. The recipe calls for one medium onion. I'm cutting the sides of the onion and cutting it in half to peel away the layers. If onions make your eyes water, a good tip is to run the onion under water before chopping and dicing. It's always best to use fresh ingredients. Here we are using fresh onion. You can also use fresh tomatoes from your garden if at all possible. Or visit your local farmer's market. But if all you have is canned tomatoes, those will work too. For the seasonings, the recipe calls for 1 half teaspoon of red pepper flakes, 1 and 1 half teaspoon of chili powder, and 1 teaspoon of cumin. And there you go, you have your spices. Now that we have all of our ingredients together, we will start off with the rinsed beans. We will pour them into the crock pot. Then we'll add the diced onion. All right, so now we're adding the canned corn. diced tomatoes, diced green chilies, and a quick tip for you guys, have a garbage bowl handy to put your dishes in trash. It will reduce the number of trips to the trash can. And I just added the minced garlic, topping it off with the spices. We'll use a quarter cup of water and mix all the ingredients together. And now you're ready to mix everything together. You want to cook this recipe on high for 4 hours or low for 6 hours. This recipe is great if you're on a food budget. It's very inexpensive to make. And make sure you get that lid on real tight. You can also freshen up your recipe using in-season vegetables from your garden, such as fresh tomatoes, corn, and peppers. Gardening is a great way to add physical activity and nutrition education to your daily activities with your family. Gardening with your children can also encourage them to try new fruits and vegetables that they may not have tried from the grocery store. 